देखो यही है सो असलम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगैन और वी आर स्टडिंग द डिफरेंट रीजन्स ऑफ द ब्रांड तो ऑलरेडी हम फोर uh, ब्रांड uh, के कुछ पार्ट्स uh, पढ़े हैं हमने आज जो हम उसका पार्ट पढ़ेंगे रिमेनिंग जो पार्ट उसका रह गया दैट्स कॉल्ड डा इन सेफलॉन सो वॉल स्टडी नाउ द डा इन सेफलॉन नाउ लिसन हियर वट्स अबाउट द डा इन सेफलॉन दैट इट्स इट्स अ पार्ट of the brand that lies on the interior side of cerebrum and thus is visible in the ventral view only so we we are just calling that diencephalon it is that part of the brain it's that part of the brain i mean say that it's that part of the brain so that lies uh, that's visible in the ventral view only though that lies in the inferior side of cerebrum of the brain so just we call the we we say that the um, this uh, it's having uh, the different tough parts like its uh, roof is called epithalamus sides are to be called as hypothalamus okay now i'll just this is this is the part that should be called as this part is to be called as diencephalon this is the part that should be called as diencephalon and this diencephalon ye jo diencephalon hai ye part hai four brain ka फोर ब्रांड का जिसका ऑलरेडी हम दो हिस्से पढ़ चुके हैं और तीसरा जो रिमेनिंग हिस्सा था दैट्स डाई इन सेफलॉन तो मैंने कहा इट्स इट्स ओनली द विंट्रल व्यू जब तुम विंट्रल व्यू से देखोगे तो ये आपको विंट्रल व्यू इस विंट्रल व्यू से आपको ये नजर आएगा और इसका जो यू नो दैट इसका जो रूप है द रूप इज कॉल्ड इपीथेलमस ओके द रूप इज टू बी कॉल्ड एज इपीथेलमस इसका रूप जो है दैट्स कॉल्ड इपीथेलमस द साइड्स आर टू बी कॉल्ड एज थेलमस दीज आर द साइड्स विच आर टू बी कॉल्ड एज थेलमस दीज साइड्स विच आर टू बी कॉल्ड एज अ थेलमस ओके या वी जस्ट कॉल्ड एज थेलमस और थेलमस एंड इसका जो फ्लोर है फ्लोर इज टू बी कॉल्ड एज हाइपोथेलमस इसका जो फ्लोर है फ्लोर दिस इज द फ्लोर इट इज कॉल्ड हाइपोथेलमस एंड इसका जो साइड जो है इज दैट आर टू बी कॉल्ड एज थेलमस साइड्स आर टू बी कॉल्ड एज थेलमस और इसका जो रूप है रूप दैट दैट इज टू बी कॉल्ड एज एपीथेलमस सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग द एपी वी आर डिस्कसिंग द पार्ट ऑफ ब्रांड दैट टू बी कॉल्ड एज डाई इन सेफलॉन एंड आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू दैट डाई इन सेफलॉन इज द इट्स ओनली विजिबल ऑन द विंट्रल्स व्यू ऑफ द ब्रांड एंड you know that uh, uh, it's a roof it's having the parts that uh, roof is to be called as uh, roof ka iska jo hai that's called epithalamus iske jo sides hai side jo hai iske that should be called as thalamus or iska jo floor hai this one floor that is to be called as hypothalamus so now listen about we are discussing now this hypothalamus this one hypothalamus hypothalamus इट हैज सर्टन कंट्रोल सेंटर्स तो हाइपोथेलमस के कुछ कंट्रोल सेंटर्स हैं कौन से कौन कौन किस चीज़ को ये हाइपोथेलमस ये जो पार्ट है हाइपोथेलमस ऑफ डाइनसेफलॉन ये किस किस बॉडी के एक्टिविटी को कंट्रोल करता है ये जो पार्ट है दैट इज टू बी कॉल्ड एज हाइपोथेलमस इट कंट्रोल्स हंगर ओके इट कंट्रोल हंगर थर्स्ट फैटिक स्लीप ओके स्लीप बॉडी टेम्परेचर बॉडी टेम्परेचर बॉडी टेम्परेचर इमोशंस ओके सो एंड ऑल्सो इट जस्ट रिलीज आर इट यू नो दैट सेक्रेट्स द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स विच रेगुलेट द Uh, which regulate uh, you know that uh, uh, different uh, sections of that of the different activities within the body so we just call that this hypothalamus that is the part of diencephalon part of the forebrain part of the forebrain called diencephalon this is the part of the diencephalon that's called a hypothalamus and it controls certain activities of the body which activities pehla maine bataya hunger it controls th uh, thirst fatigue sleep body temperature and sweating and uh, you know that and also the emotions so this is the uh, part of the brain that is to be called as diencephalon and uh, diencephalon okay now next one we'll study the next one part of it like fatigue sleep body temperature sweating and uh, emotions also now 
we'll discuss the another part of it that's be called as mid brain so mid brain we'll discuss this part it is to be called as mid brain mid brain ye already jo humne padha uh, uh, diencephalon mein uh, jo iska part tha hypothalamus aur thalamus theek hai hypothalamus aur thalamus jo humne padhe uh, already jo pad chuke hain hypothalamus and thalamus of it now we'll discuss the part of brain that is to be called as mid brain mid brain now this uh, mid brain it's also to be called as mesencephalon it's also to be called as mesencephalon and you know that it is significantly very small region so mid brain it is significantly very small region of the brain very small region of the brain okay very small region of the brain and it consists of the two fiber tracts called cerebri and two super and inferior colliculi so you know that it comes up the two fiber tracts fiber tracts rather jo uh, uh, mid brain hai isme do fiber tract hote hain the two fiber tract like the two fiber tract they are, it comes up the two fiber tract like as to be called as uh, we 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 just called as curcura cerebri and the two is superior and inferior colliculi on the east side of the fiber tract on the east sides of the fiber tract you are finding that and uh, you know that uh, this uh, uh, is the part of the brain this is a part of the brain that has its functions like it controls the reflex movements the mid brain of the brain the mid brain of the brain it controls certain activities of the body like it controls the reflex movements reflex movements of head it controls reflex movements of the head so mid brain it controls reflex okay reflex movements of head neck trunk okay trunk and uh, odd, odd uh, you know that uh, it uh, having the control i mean say that the uh, Uh, it also control the audio visual audio visual activities of the body and not only this but also have the control over you know that over the eye muscles it also controls the eye muscles so because of the eye muscles it control the size of the people it control the size of the people in the eye so that the minimum or maximum amount of light that can enter into the eye and second one it also controls the eye lens okay curvature of the eye lens so we just called it's having the two functions one function of the mid brain is that it is the part of the brain that controls the reflex movements of the head neck trunk okay in response to the visual and auditory stimuli in response to visual and auditory stimuli so we just called that it uh, uh, controls the reflex act action of the head neck trunk and uh, trunk of that it you know that we just called it in the trunk in response to the odd auditory and visual stimuli and second one second one is also to be called we just call that uh, it controls the eye muscles eye muscles so it controls the eye muscles so that controls the size of the people so that um, how much energy how much light will be enter into the eye through the people so size of the people depends upon size of the people makes it possible that how much light will enter into the eye so size of the people is controlled by that of the uh, uh, mid brain and second one it also it also controls the curvature of the lens ye eye ki lens ki curvature ko bhi control karta hai to this was about the mid brain now the third part of brain that's to be called as hind brain so hind brain is the part of the brain that's having the three regions okay it's having the three regions this one it's a part of the brain that is called a hind brain it's having the three regions one region that's called a cerebellum second region pons viroli third one medulla oblongata so the hind brain is the third region of the brain it's also called rhombocephalon rhombocephalon 
rhomboencephalon okay rhomboencephalon so this uh, region is divided into three parts cerebrum cerebellum pons viroli and medulla oblongata okay medulla oblongata so three parts of the hind brain and what are the functions of the three parts jab baat karte hain यू नो दैट सरिबलम की जब बात करते हैं सरिबलम की सरिबलम हम बताते हैं कि सरिबलम इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन इट्स द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन ये ब्रेन का सेकंड लार्जेस्ट पार्ट है सेकंड लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन सो इट्स द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन दिस वन सरिबलम सो सरिबलम इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन एंड इट कंट्रोल्स ये बॉडी के कौन कौन से बॉडी एक्टिविटीज को कंट्रोल करता है इट कंट्रोल द बॉडी पोस्चर बॉडी इक्विलिब्रम एंड मसल टून दीज आर द थ्री फंक्शन ऑफ द सिरबम सो फंक्शन फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज इट कंट्रोल द पोस्चर बॉडी पोस्चर सेकेंड वन इक्विलिब्रम बॉडी इक्विलिब्रम एंड थर्ड वन इज मसल टून दीज आर द फंक्शन ऑफ सिरबरम द पार्ट दैट इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रांड ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट दिस देर इज दिस वन pons pons viroli and this pons viroli it controls certain aspects of the respiration okay it controls certain aspects of respiration it controls certain aspects of respiration third one medulla this one medulla oblongata this medulla oblongata you that it controls most of the right uh, most of the activities of the body like it controls our heart beat it controls heart beat of the body okay it controls breathing moments breathing moments okay breathing moments expansion and contraction of blood vessels so that maintain the blood pressure so first one heart beat second one breathing moments third one it controls the contraction and the relaxation of the blood vessels blood vessels so that controls the blood pressure third one it controls the swelling okay controls the swelling swelling sneezing sneezing okay controls the coughing it controls the vomiting so what's the functions of this part so this is the part of the brain that is called the hind brain and it is having three parts cerebellum pons viroli medulla oblongata and this is the part having the uh, this uh, uh this is the part of the brain that controls certain activities like uh, i just mentioned that cerebrum it controls the um, uh, it's a second largest part of the brain and controls the equilibrium posture and uh, uh, muscle tone and this is the part of the brain that's called pons pons viroli controls certain aspects of the brain and now it's medulla oblongata very important part of the brain that controls most of its activities like Uh, like it controls the heartbeat okay it controls heartbeat uh, 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 you know that breathing moments expansion uh, and contraction of the blood vessels and third one like a uh, swelling swelling and uh, and uh, you know that sneezing coughing and vomiting so dear uh, students this was all about we completed the uh, different regions or different parts of the brain so now in coming lecture i will discuss the spinal cord thank you